The overall goal of this time-lapse video microscopy is to track the selective Parkin-mediated removal of damaged mitochondria during the mitophagy process. This method can help answer key questions in the molecular metabolism field, such as how mitophagy is affected during a pathological condition. The main advantage of this technique is that it provides a very powerful tool for following the dynamics of labeled proteins during their molecular processes. So this method can provide insight into the mitochondrial life cycle. It can also be applied to other systems such as primary cell cultures, embryology studies, and predicting aneuploidy. The immortalized mouse embryonic fibroblasts used in this study are grown in complete DMEM medium on a 10 centimeter tissue culture plate at 37 degrees Celsius in a humidified atmosphere containing 5% carbon dioxide. When the cells are at 80% confluency, discard the medium by sterile suction and add 10 milliliters of sterile PBS. Remove the PBS and add one milliliter of 0.25% trypsin EDTA. Incubate the plate at 37 degrees Celsius for two to three minutes until the cells are detached. Add four milliliters of complete DMEM medium and resuspend the cells. Take out 10 microliters of the cell suspension for counting with a hemocytometer. Seed 1 times 10 to the 6th cells onto a 10 centimeter tissue culture dish and incubate for 24 hours. On the following day, wash the cells.